like to welcome six Man of the Year finalists, Montrez Hill yeah. to the show. Yeah. The brightest, the shiniest. Richard, why, why aren't you decked out like that? I, honestly, I just can't pull it off. I, I'm turned 40 in a couple months, man. It's, it's disappointing. When I came into the league, that's what they all had. Mm -hmm. right. And now I just... But I I'm, covered you when you came into the league, and you couldn't pull that off then either. I couldn't, still couldn't pull it off. I was bald then, too. Right. I was bald then too. It, it wasn't pretty. Well, this man should be decorated. He is on the team. Everybody wants to watch this coming season, and I want to get right to it, because your Clippers acquired Kawhi Leonard, Paul George, and my favorite question to ask everyone is, where were you when you found out that this was happening, and what was the first words out of your mouth, the ones you can say on TV? <laughs> uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, man, I was at home, honestly. Um, just a normal night, just chilling with uh, my brother, just playing the video game, and, uh, you know, it just kind of hit my phone, like an ESPN alert. And, uh, you know, as soon as it kind of dropped after that, you know, I was just like, it's over. <laughs> that's all I said, that's all really? I, that's all yeah. I said. That's yeah. it. And that's how you guys feel about your team this year? Yeah, man. We got a great team. Uh, we had a great team last year. I think, you know, the time that we're going to spend in training camp over in Hawaii, uh, it gets us time to gel and just be around one another and just kind of, you know, just be able to get out there and play. And then, you know, we come in early like we've been playing uh, pickup all week mm -hmm. um, this past week, you know. So I just think it's going to just help us grow and improve, you know, adding two superstar guys like Hawaii and PG. I want to know what you're most excited about, right? Like you, you, you had two of the top five six men. You, uh, you coming off the bench and Lou. So, what are you most excited about? Looking forward to? Is it the energy in the crowd? Is it just the the, the traveling circus playing uh, with Kawhi and PG? Like the opportunities that you're going to get because that middle is going to be wide. <laughs> right. um, honestly, man, just the whole you know playing in general, man. Like I said, we had a great team last year and was able to, you know, make a great run and just shock a lot of people even in the playoffs. And now you add two guys like PG and Kawhi, you know, it just up our chances even more. But like I said, just us being there and just, you know, going to be having time to gel and grow and just continue to get better as a team, you know, even with having the pieces that we had come back last year, you know, we really didn't lose too much. So it's going to be fun. Yeah. You mentioned you guys have been playing already. I know you played right up the road from the Clippers practice facility at the Lakers practice facility uh, recently. What did you see in those open runs out of the L.A. competition, particularly LeBron and A.D. playing? Yeah, a little clutch, uh, clutch little games going yeah. on there. Most definitely. Um, you know, just the, the family in general clutch, man. It's just, you know, to be able to get together like that in the summertime and guys, you know, could do anything with their all time, but we're still in the gym working, you know, so it just speaks volume to our agency and to the guys we have in general. And uh, me, I'm always studying the game. I'm always, you know, around the game of basketball. I don't really take any summer vacations. You know, I play multiple places, Drew, ABL, you know, all over the place. So just being able to come in with that type of talent and that type of, you know, environment that guys are just still working and just be able to learn. Did you get to scout LeBron AD I'm together always, yet? Always, <laughs> always, <laughs> always. I'm always scout. All right, so give us a little scouting report. What, 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 is, what, is, what is it like with them playing together? And we see uh, it a little bit in All-Star and stuff. Open tonight. But. I can't, I can't <laughs> give it I'm <laughs> not giving it to the guys that's yeah. going to be, you know, in that jersey with me. You know, I can't put it on the world because now, you know, they can go have a look at watch this and change it, you know. So, hey. Okay. It was funny you mentioned Lakers, Clippers, right? You guys were neck and neck for Vegas odds for most of the summer, but now Vegas actually has a Lakers above you for the odds. I like to remind people that's who they think will bet on what. That's how they set those odds, not necessarily on who they predict will win. But the expectations are high for you guys, even if you look at that top group of teams. What does it feel like inside the locker room to suddenly have those expectations? Because it's a big difference going from David to Goliath. And the Warriors, you watch them feel it too, right? They were the scrappy underdogs the first year they won the title. They get KD, everyone's like, oh no, you're Goliath. You should win, that's what's expected. Mm -hmm. You guys were scrappy underdogs last year, right? Overachieved. Now you've got PG, you've got Kawhi. The expectations are different. Yeah, I mean, but I think it's more so the expectations for the outside world. You know, for everybody in that locker room, we're going to come with that same type of mindset that we had last year to be that team that's, you know, built off a uh, grit, fight, competition, uh, going in, competing. You know, that's what Steve Barmer's kind of built our team around, and everybody's took that kind of mindset and just ran with it. So I just think we just added two more guys who already had that mindset as individual players, you know, and just going to come into the team. No. No, I'm not, I'm not riding with that. I'm not, no, because this, this is part. This part. I know you as a competitor. I know all of those guys that are in that locker room, Pat, Bev, all those guys as competitors. Right. You realize this. If you guys are healthy 
and you don't win a championship, the season is a failure. <laughs> you No, no, I, and I mean that in a respectful way because right. we all look at the amount of talent that you guys have, right. what you've added. So you can say, oh, those are outside expectations, but the greatest expectations are what, what you hold yourself to. Right. And, like, I believe that you guys are going to be probably the best defensive team in the league, yep. right, with you, Pat, uh, PG, and, and, and Kawhi. But do you, like, like, like Rachel said, do you understand and do you guys believe that if you do not win a championship this year, if you're healthy, that it is a failure? Uh, I don't know if I should even look at it like that. I just don't. I just don't. You know, like Montrez said, is like, I'm a vet. I'm not taking the bait, right, Richard. Because right, right. I said, you know, like I said, we built the team off of just playing hard and going out there and competing every night and giving ourselves a chance to be there, you know. But at the end of the day, we do got two great superstars come onto our team. But what you got to understand is, they just got to the team. You yeah. know, you was a part of that, that Cleveland team yeah. that had to learn how to jail and, you know, play with one another, and that's just what's going to have to happen over the season, you know? Okay, okay, let me rephrase this. Let me rephrase this. Let me, let me, let me dial back my question. That's a very good answer. I got a lot of respect for that. You're not the only TV pro here. He's also a TV yeah, pro. I respect that answer. Okay, if you guys don't win a championship over the next, you know, four years of those guys two, just signing their next deal, or two years, would you expect that to be a disappointment? Yeah, I can agree there with that. There we go. There we go. Done, 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 done. Okay. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.